yet another trail of devastation. That would be enough for a lot of breakfast eggs. Where am I supposed to put this? I can't carry this much. Well, it will probably take some time until the salt has eaten its way through the ice. A single egg is visible through the plate of glass. The machine. I do not know the number combination, and if I just simply. It always looks so simple in detective stories. Plunger on the glass, cut it with a diamond, and. It really is simple. I have no idea what animal this comes from. It's too large to be a chicken egg, but who knows what they are doing here in the station. I think they are capable of anything. Pulled the cork in style. Nothing. All that effort for nothing. Again. The salt ate a huge hole into the ice. Nothing is happening. I probably should try it with some bait.
cork. The lighter could serve as a blinker substitute and lead all in one. It's definitely worth a try. That was easier than I thought it would be. Maybe I can distract it with some fish. This appears to be made of metal. Why is a part like this just lying around here? And why is the penguin trying to hatch it? It doesn't like it that I stole his offspring. I'll put the egg back down. I have enough enemies here as it is. At least now the poor little guy has a real chance of seeing something come out of that egg. An egg-shaped thing made of metal. It fits, and the machine is also starting to work again. The water is going to drain right out again. It even reasonably fits into the drain. That should stop the water from draining. Yay! The tub is full. Woohoo! Now all I need is a relaxing bath oil. Too bad, actually. It was just about to get nice and warm. The water has frozen over pretty quickly. I hope that the ice will hold me.
The camera has been screwed on tight, but at least I could remove the strap. The video cassette from the surveillance camera in the bathroom. They all appear to be very busy down there. I should take advantage of it. Oh, there is something else on the tape. A remainder of another recording. Looks like the room right next door. This Nicole Charlera is having a discussion with a really elegantly dressed guy. Unfortunately, his back is to the camera. But I could swear that it's... What's going on down there? We are ready. Yes, apart from a few small details, everything is ready. Thanks to the artifact, we were able to quickly bring the radiation fields to the desired level. So I was right. About the artifact? About you, Professor Charleroi. Your team has truly done magnificent work. And Sergei, Oleg, you also deserve a lot of praise. Thank you. It was an honor for us. But enough self-congratulations. We still have a lot to do. Mankind is waiting for us to relieve them from a few decisions. Massimo Gartuzo? If he's involved in this, it must be a really big thing. And if he goes to the ends of the world just for this, then I'd rather not dwell on how big this thing is. Realistically, there are only two possibilities. Either I make sure there is a super big noise, or I die clandestinely, quietly, and unnoticed. And since I definitely do not feel like dying, I should think of something that makes a huge kaboom. Only I probably won't be able to do much by myself. I need help, and I need it fast. A huge plasma screen. It all looks terribly complicated. Empty. Two, five, one, three, done it. I wonder what is waiting for me in that room over there. Equipment for measuring and analysis. What exactly can one do with it? I haven't got the faintest idea. of fireworks. I think I'll take a couple with me, and probably the matches too. All of the equipment looks to be completely out of date. They obviously only invested in stuff that was absolutely necessary. There is something in the close vicinity of the research station, most likely an airplane. Maybe they can come and get me out of here. I just have to get their attention somehow. Flares. I assume that they are used to mark the landing spot for helicopters and airplanes.
The matches burn well, but the fuse doesn't. It probably got wet at some point in time. Hopefully the fuses will work again if I pour the whale oil over them. not what you think. Typical statement from a man. They aren't our enemies. They want to help us. I've had my fill lately of people who allegedly want to help me. Yeah, I know. I'm really sorry about Oleg. How did you know? Later. These men have brought me here to... So you are in cahoots with them. They're the same guys who were seen in the museum by the janitor and the little girl when my father was kidnapped, right? Yes, and the sect did actually kidnap your father. But for his own protection. Don't worry. He's fine. For his protection? From people like you? You played me for a sucker and were working with these guys the entire time! No. When I got back from Ireland, the sect also kidnapped me. Then they explained how everything fits together. I'd never seen these guys before that. You have to believe me. Do I? During his investigation into the Tunguska catastrophe, your father stumbled onto something that has to be kept secret at all costs. The sect has done everything it can to make sure this secret doesn't fall into the wrong hands. And what is that? The people believe that they are the offspring of aliens from outer space. Oh, God. And the Tunguska catastrophe was caused by a nuclear-powered interstellar spaceship that crashed while trying to rescue its last living survivors from Earth. Bullshit! Psst. Don't tell me you believe that. I don't know what I should believe anymore. Do you remember your encounter with the sect? In Tunguska? Yes. It was pretty weird. The fact is that in the summer of 1908, an unidentified object was annihilated in a detonation as powerful as a modern hydrogen bomb. But they found no crater and no remains. Then these strange fragments appeared years later. Your father examined them and discovered that they were made from materials that didn't come from Earth, but were processed. The Kalenkov report? Exactly. Then the military got a hold of the material, and your father was prohibited from doing any more research. When he and Manuel Perez took off again for the Tunguska region, Perez accidentally became a victim of an experiment that the military was conducting with the extraterrestrial object there. Your father realizes how dangerous the material is, but he continues to do research despite... or maybe because of it. Until he comes across evidence of the Zopa, whose abandoned caves he discovers in China. There he discovers artifacts that consist of the same extraterrestrial material as the fragments from the Tunguska region. A strange connection, don't you think? And one of the artifacts is here now, delivered personally by Nina Kalenkov. The station belongs to a man named Massimo Gartuso. Have you ever heard his name before? Billionaire. Divorced three times. Devastatingly handsome. You can ask him for an autograph in a second. What? He's here. I saw him below in the station. Hopefully we aren't too late. He bought shares in all the telecommunication companies through middlemen and will soon control the entire mobile network. So what? Are you afraid that the prices per minute will go up? Be serious for a second, Nina. Don't you have any idea what they're planning here? Think about Perez's accident, the psychiatric clinic in Cuba, the French female scientist, and the Russians' animal experiments. Give me a hint. They are working on a technology that will manipulate thoughts. Oh, come on. First you come to me with... With these aliens, and now this? It sounds inconceivable, I know. But research into this technology is nothing new. As far as I know, no one has been successful yet. But with this extraterrestrial material... Do you think that Massimo Gartuso will go to so much trouble if the artifact was merely of value archaeologically? 
The sect believes that he is about to implement this technology. And you can imagine what will happen then. So, do you trust these people? More than I trust this Gartuso. And what are you planning to do? The sect will take care of detonating the transmitter, and we have to find a way to disrupt the experiment itself. Are you familiar with the layout in there? Is there maybe a control room or something like that? Sure. Follow me and try to be inconspicuous. Yes, sir. Oh, before I forget, I found your cell phone in the caves in China. I thought you'd probably need it. In case you want to call me after all this is finished. I know your number by heart. So, the elevator should be working again. But maybe we should wait until the sect members have detonated the antenna. And if not, we still have the element of surprise on our side. So you really want to go down there? Yes. Now let's go. Damn, what just happened? The elevator appears to still be working, as do some of the doors, but I can't open the other ones. Nina! Can you hear me? Just great. I have to get the doors open as soon as possible or we'll have a real problem. We've had more than enough of those already. Hopefully Nina will wait for me and won't do anything stupid. But if I know her, she probably will. Max doesn't seem to hear me through the door. Now what? Hopefully he'll get the door open again. But I can't really wait for him to do it. We have no time to lose. Maybe that elevator still works. Then I can look around a little downstairs. A radiator. Someone took the knob that opens and closes the vent. There's just a rod left now. I threaded the rod. I can't open or close the valve with my bare hands. This thing has all... There's no reception here. The radiator feels cold. The pipe is cold. One of the surveillance cameras. Hopefully Max is constantly checking the monitors in the control room. What an enormous icicle. I can't break it loose. It's much too massive for that. What an enormous icicle. I hear voices behind that door. As long as I don't have an army behind me, I really shouldn't go in there. There are two labels on it. Danger, explosive, and do not bring in contact with water. For such dangerous stuff, that that sure doesn't make a stable impression. The sign warns that contact with water could trigger chemical reactions. The paint is so brittle that it crumbles just looking at it. The sign is riveted. This wrench ought to make sure that the lid doesn't open accidentally. Hopefully the lid won't open. An iron chain hanging in the middle of the room. No idea what that's good for. The tube leads through the wall into the hallway.
In some places where the walls have cracked, the ice is visible behind the walls. We must therefore be below sea level. My former teacher, Mr. Puetz, would say no one can force a round metal rod to rotate with a wrench. When I wedged the icicle between the pipes, the nut broke from the mounting bracket of the pipes. 